Yeah, you're right. That is a zero in front of that four. I am shattered. No sleep, loads of anxiety. We're actually going to the factory today that built this van. We're having those alterations done. We're having a 240 volt socket uh, added and some USBs either there or up there, wherever they want to put them. And um, another solar panel as well. So they're going to have the van for the day. We're driving up to Leeds three hours. Not looking forward to this at all. Um, leaving the van with them. We're going to spend the day in Leeds walking around. Might show you a bit of that. And um, get the jobs done. There's a couple of other little things they've got to do. Nothing wrong with the van. van's been great. But just a few things that we'd like altered. And this has been booked in for a couple of months now. So we've got to get it done. And oh, I'm just not look, looking forward to this journey. Um, and I'm not really looking forward to my soggy Weetabix. Well, so far, so good. We're an hour into the journey. Uh, it's saying uh, we're actually right near Peterborough. We'll be coming here on Friday. I mean, Thursday night to the show. And um, we literally just had someone, about half hour ago, we had someone nearly ram right into us. I'll show you the footage if I can get it off of the uh, dash cam. We're about um, two hours to go. It's saying um, 115 more miles and arrival at 8.23 and they open at half past eight. But we're just hoping that we don't meet any roadworks because by the time we get closer to the Leeds, it will be rush hour. Well, in fact, it's starting now, but we're on the A1 right now. As I said, going past Peterborough, we'll check in closer we get. Well, we made it. That was one hell of a journey. Uh, there's Vantage right there. And the van will be going in the workshops there. And there's the entrance, just over there. Right, that's it, booked in. He's gonna get on with the jobs. A couple of USBs, 240 socket, solar panel. And we've just been speaking to Julie and she's told us where to go, to go into Leeds. I'm quite looking forward to this because we've never been to Leeds, have we? I'm looking forward to breakfast. We're looking forward to breakfast. We're looking for Bills, did you say? Bills, yeah. Bills, which sells uh, everything, I think. It's a burger place, well, but it I've does a good. blue light card, so we'll get discount. Yeah, kirsty has got a blue light card from her job. And uh, yeah, got to look for a canal now that takes us into Leeds.
first stop, Bills for breakfast. Can we see outside? Huh? Can we see outside? I suppose we can see outside, yeah. It looks lovely, don't it? Yeah, it's nice and warm. Yeah. Timekeeper watch. Ring a bell, Rodney? What do you reckon of Leeds? Yeah, lovely to see. Well, absolutely enjoyed that day. There's so much to see and do there, don't you? But it wasn't even that packed. It's not like yeah, you it's go a to weekday and it's busy. Yeah, it was busy, but not busy if you know what I mean. There's shops galore, aren't there? Yeah, lovely markets. museums as you saw. Lovely old markets. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I'm not sure if there's a site around here somewhere, but it's got it's bound to be, isn't there? Yeah. That you could perhaps commute into leads somehow but um yeah what a what a place really really glad we saw it and we don't even know if the van's ready yet we're just heading back now and uh sit about chill out if uh, if it's not ready yeah they've got a little waiting room haven't they yeah got some waiting rooms there some books to read thoroughly enjoyed it Okay, so what did we have done? It's actually um, the next day because I was just too tired to carry on filming. First, I'd like to thank Advantage. They're always a pleasure to work with. They're a great team, Julie, Dave, and Ian who've done all the work. I did want to film him doing bits of, uh, of the work, but I just thought it was a bit unfair shoving a camera in someone's face while they're trying to, trying to work, you know. And um, as I say, we, 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 we had gone into Leeds anyway. 
starting off with the table we had a different um, size table cut 700 by 400 um, and we were lucky we were lucky because the 2022 the 2022 vantages have got a completely different color scheme now so the the the, the countertop the kitchen tops and all the tables are like a like a white color uh, like that but a bit bit whiter with this effect on the top and it, it didn't really bother us julie had actually said to us um the, the table's going to be white will it will it really matter i thought no it's only gonna, it's only a table but when we got there she had managed to um get us the the, the right color the table that usually goes there that we have in the evening the bigger one is now going to be our outside table so we can use that for our outside seeing as the, the summer's coming um yeah we wanted this because it it it's a bit narrower here so when getting in like that you see it's a lot easier so your legs ain't getting um show you like that your legs can slide in and out more easy and it sticks back here a little bit more so that when we're sat back you can just sort of put your drink on there whereas that round coffee table didn't come out as far that coffee table will now live up there what else we had the ah yeah the usbs so these usbs now are standard in all 2022 advantage motorhomes onwards a double socket there and a double socket there so very happy with that um it also fixed or replaced this which i broke they're a bit sensitive they are when you turn them the dimmer switch uh what else what else the 240 socket if you remember i was talking about having one put down there he could have done it but uh, he was saying it would be a bit time consuming and we would have to have pulled um, half of that out to get to it. And he asked me if I'd mind if he could put it over here. And which I said, no, that's not going to be a problem. The whole idea to have it over here was so that I could not have to run a lead from this socket here across to the van. And that way you wouldn't be able to get in and out of the van without having to step over a lead. But what he's done is he's put a socket down here, right down the bottom, which I think won't be a problem because we can run a lead under the carpet up there and then it won't get in the way from whenever um, I'm on the laptop. Um, yeah, so that's uh, happy with that. What else? Oh yeah, mm, the solar panel. Oh, I brought a climb up on here. Um, don't tell Kirsty. Right, I'll take my shoes off, actually. And then I'll show you the second panel, where it is. I'm not sure if you saw that, I think you did. Very happy with, um, the work and there, i mean the reason we drove all the way to leeds to, for that is because who better to do your van or work on your van than the people who built it so for me it's worth that i'm not a no good at, i know people have said oh can't you can't even fit a usb in your own van and things like that but i'm not really like that <laughs> no so that's about it for this video hope you enjoyed uh, the little tour of leeds and also once again thank you to uh to vantage for all, all of their help and um hopefully we'll see you again in the next video don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching